Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show as I wrap up my fabulous morning with another fabulous guest. I've got Web, Weber's lead trainer and barbecue expert, Jason Pruitt. He's here to give us some of the scoop on how to add flavor and excitement to your grilling, no matter what you're grilling. Jason, welcome here. Good morning. Welcome. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> well, you know, I'm originating from Texas, talking all across the United States, but you know, Texas is the barbecue ca capital. So I had to get the best. So tell me what's going on with grilling for our upcoming season, because we can't wait to really get outdoors. Well, I got to make sure I'm on the level here since I'm talking to Texas. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to, exp you know, getting people back together and having, you know, a lot of fun around the grill, it's about that entertainment. It's about what can we do to really bring the flavor and make make things fun and exciting uh, for the, our guests, whether it's friends or family. So one of the ways to do that is to explore with our Weber seasoning. So. At Weber, we like to say you start with good protein, you start with good seasoning, and of course you start with a good grill, and you're going to end with good results. So in front of me here, you see we got some grilled chicken. With grilled chicken, to add that little bit of kick to it, we can use our kicking chicken seasoning, which is really, really <laughs> good, but adds a nice little kick to it at the end. And then when it comes to steaks, everybody loves steaks on the grill. We have our Chicago Classic seasoning, which is amazing on steaks, as well as our you'll like this texas we have our uh, cowboy seasoning and rub which gives you a little bit of an earthy rustic uh, taste so we got cocoa cumin and coriander as the flavors in that seasoning and it's really really good and don't forget the veggies the veggies are really important whenever you're putting together your whole meal for people to come over and enjoy um, grilled corn on the cob grilled potatoes are excellent and they really are complemented well with our garlic parmesan seasoning well, that's what I was going to ask. Can we put the seasoning on vegetables also, too? You sure can. We, I mean, it with grilled vegetables, if you add some of our, our seasonings on with the grilled vegetables, it is going to be an amazing flavor. Uh, so it really kind of highlights the natural sweetness coming from the vegetables um, and that those deep flavors. And then our Weber seasonings are only going to elevate that to the next level. These are great opportunities to have a really good outdoor experience. You know, I, we, me and my family, we cooked outdoors throughout the pandemic because my stove broke. But it was fun. It was really fun. I really learned how to grill. So my question to you, is there a, a, a secret to learning how to really grill very well? Well, you know, the important things to note whenever you're grilling is to properly preheat your grill. We always want to properly preheat our grill, clean it off, and set it to the desired temperature of what we're cooking. Um, so if we're setting it to the high heat for those, for those flat foods, or if we're setting it for that low and slow temp for longer cooks, we just want to make sure that we're doing the proper preheat first. The other thing that we always like to remind people of is all the food and not the grates. That's going to make for uh, our seasoning is going to stick better to our food and everything is going to come out a lot better because you're going to get that nice beautiful color on your food and also you're never going to have trouble with it sticking to the grates if you do that. Last but not least, make sure that you maintain your grill, make sure that you clean it properly um, and kind of keep up with that. A clean grill is always going to be a happy grill and it's going to work great for you every time. Well, I learned something new. Well, the food and food and not the grill. That's great. That's great advice. Now that cleaning part, Jason, that's not fun. That really isn't fun, but it's necessary. I understand. That's when, when, well, when you have guests over, that's a chore that you can give them to do. So. 
Oh, I like that. I even like that better. Jason, you know, you, <laughs> uh, uh, you, you given us a new word, eat attainment. You know, that's a really big opportunity for us to go into the summer with. So we're going to take your tips and your ideas. Where do we find these recipes to go with that? So to find out more uh, recipes as well as more of our seasoning, list of more of our seasonings here at Weber, go to WeberSeasonings.com to find out all the seasonings that I covered today as well as how to really ex you know, explore the possibilities and, and uh, bring them to, to life on the grill. All right, Jason Pruitt, as Weber's lead trainer and barbecue expert, thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me and uh, happy grilling and enjoy your summer. I will take your advice. I'm going to be a better griller this summer. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.